on Daxton Avenue, which was um, part of the heart of the Brookstown community. That's the, that's the highway today, and it cuts right through and goes right up Daxton. There you go. And, and we just overlaid that on today so that we can get some sense of what that looks like. And again, this community is just west of the city limits of of Durham and it was uh, it was raised that community and the others that I mentioned previously uh, during the urban renewal process. She estimated in that book that some 80% of African American communities were deleteriously impacted by urban renewal. It's clear that it's not just buildings that were torn down or right. uh, uh, houses that disappeared. Um, this was the, the center of the, the, the lives of these individuals that mm -hmm. was taken away. Uh -huh. And you know, most of Brookstown worked at the tobacco factories, the uh -huh. hospital, and at Duke. All of the principals and teachers were a part of our community. They were. Right, we send mm -hmm. our kids now all over the place to go to school. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, we could even, we could even, uh, transition that conversation into how we police our communities. Uh, you know, the fact that we don't have those sort of insular neighborhoods anymore uh, is causing lots of challenges, right? Western Baptist played a big part to the young people in the community because it was like a recreation center. You know, we had the first uh, education building among the black churches, I believe in Durham. That's and, right. and then we, they would have movers for us in that building. Even the boys could went and play basketball sometimes. It wasn't just a house of worship. Certainly that was its principal function. Right. But it was the community center. It was the meeting place. It was a place that helped to prepare the future generations of leaders. Uh, it was so important in so many different ways. And it is very disruptive when you pick up and move like that and you're forced to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they call it Negro removal, right? So the, the idea yeah. behind it was to remove the quote unquote blighted spaces, right? But mm -hmm. we have, as no fault of, of our own, really been put in a circumstance where we were poor people. Yeah. So we were living in what they described mm -hmm. as blighted communities. If, you, if we weren't having this discussion, if uh, Miss Lassiter and Auntie Cora weren't here, uh, we, most people in Durham wouldn't even know that Brookstown exists. There's no signage, there's no historical marker. Um, and, and that's the same for a lot of black neighborhoods in, mm -hmm. in, in Durham. Mm -hmm. We loved each other in Brookstown. And if all neighborhoods could be like Brookstown, well, I mean, we are still Brookstown. We still have Brookstown in our hearts.